Hello everyone, my name is Iyad Sawan. Today I'll be discussing a very fascinating topic, which is called natural gas processing. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when I say the word gas? Gas. Gas. What is natural gas? Natural gas is a mixture of hydrocarbons. It is colorless, odorless, and shapeless in its pure form. Natural gas is flammable. When it's burned, it gives a high amount of energy and a few emissions. The natural gas that is used by consumers is completely composed of methane. The process involves getting the gas out of the ground into the pipeline and after the process, the gas can be used in cooking and heating your home. So, where do we extract the gas from? There are three sources where we can extract the gas from. Oil wells, gas wells, and condensate wells. Natural gas extracted from oil wells is typically termed as associated gas. This gas can exist in two forms, free gas and dissolved gas. The free gas is separate from the oil in the formation, and the dissolved gas is dissolved in the crude oil. The gas wells produce raw natural gas by itself. The condensate wells produce free natural gas along with a semi-liquid hydrocarbon condensate. Natural gas processing involves five main processes. Number one, the removal of sand and other large impure particles. Number two, oil and condensate removal. Number three, water removal, which is also called dehydration. Number four, separation of natural gas liquids, which is also called NGL. Number five, sulfur and carbon dioxide removal, which is also called sweetening. So for number one, heaters and scrubbers are used. Heaters are used to make sure that the temperature of the gas doesn't drop too low, while scrubbers are used to remove sand and other large impure particles. For number two, the most basic type of separators is known as a conventional separator, where the force of gravity helps separate the heavier liquid like oil and the lighter gases like natural gas. For number three, we have free water and water vapor. Free water is removed by simple separation methods. However, the removal of water vapor requires a more complex treatment that consists of dehydration. Number four and five are long processes that will be discussed later on in the course. So, this is number four. And this is number five. The natural gas consists of hydrocarbons, inert gases, acid gases, mercury, water vapor, and sulfur compounds. There are eight different types of gases. Rich gas, lean gas, dry gas, sour gas, sweet gas, LPG, which is liquefied petroleum gas, LNG, which is liquefied natural gas, NGL, which is natural gas liquid. The importance of natural gas is it can be used as an energy source as a dry gas like LNG and LPG, and it can also be used in petrochemical industries, and it can also be used to recover sulfur, and it can also be used to recover carbon dioxide. Okay everyone, thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, and special thanks to Dr. Nayef.